What's up 360 North fans? Today we've got Z's 2015 XF High Country. It's on the handlebar stand and today we're gonna to be talking to you about your high facts or your sliders. So what we're talking about is uh, the slides that go on the bottom of your aluminum rails and basically that's the contact point between your slide rails, your suspension and the track itself. And the important thing is to make sure you keep an eye on them because if they wear through, it's going to start chewing up your aluminum rails. And once that starts to happen, you're probably gonna need to buy new rails. Uh, rails for the 141 High Country, like the sled that's behind me, you're talking $210 each plus taxes in Canada. Uh, whereas your slides, you're talking 30, 40 bucks uh, individually. So it's a lot more reasonable to replace the slides rather than the rail itself. Now, if you don't have one of these stands, you can also use a standard track stand. Um, I mean, you can support it from your ceiling if you have an open ceiling. You can improvise lots of different ways, but uh, we're gonna show you a way that you can change these slides without taking the whole skid frame out of the sled. It can actually be done with the track and everything on there, and actually, if you have the Articat shop manual, that's how it's gonna say to do it. You won't need a ton of fancy tools, and it's actually a pretty simple procedure to do. And the way that you're going to do that is the actual windows that are built into the track where the, where the track is clipped, um, you can actually undo the hardware at the front of the slide and you can actually just kind of give it a tap, start working it out through the window. Once it's out far enough, you know, just grab a pair of pliers, grab it on there and yank it out and then install the new one. So we're going to show you how to do that. Um, it's very fast to do and you'll be able to do it with simple hand tools right in your garage. Say you have to send it to a shop and you want to take the whole skid out and do all kinds of track adjustments, things like that. So we'll get to it. This is what we're talking about here. So this is your slide and it slid onto the bottom of the rail. The rail is shaped kind of like an I-beam, almost like a T shape. This is slid in there and this is what's going to wear down. And it's attached, if you look through the window, in the case of an Articat, it has a Phillips head screw and a lock nut on the top. So in order to remove that, you gotta take this out. Otherwise, you'll be fighting over it and nothing's gonna happen. You can either spin the nut or you can spin the screw. Z just changed these last season, so this is gonna come apart pretty nice here. They didn't last too long. There we go. You just pull that out, set that hardware aside, you'll reuse that. Here's our trusty flathead screwdriver. Uh, it's kind of a longer one, various sizes will work. And you're just gonna start giving it a tap to get it started. And you can see we're starting to get a gap there already, which is good. And basically using various tools and Whatever you got, you're gonna keep working that along. Being careful, obviously, not to gouge your aluminum rail. Damaging the slide here is fine. You're tossing it anyway. As you're going along, obviously be mindful that you're gonna make sure that you're lined up. As you can see here, we're gonna have to rotate the track, otherwise it's not gonna go through this window.
All right, so once you get to pass to a certain point and uh, you ate your Wheaties in the morning, you can just grab this and, and give her a yank. You can put some water pump pliers on it or vice grips or something, uh, or you can just use your bare hands. You have to be mindful when you get around the idler wheel, you might have to use different like screwdrivers or pry bars to kind of work your way around that. Once you get past it, it gets easier again. And then when you get to this point, like I say, you can usually just eat your Wheaties and give her a pull. And you got the first one off. All right, so we have uh, the first side off. Uh, we've got an old one and a new one here uh, to compare it. As you can see, one is noticeably long than the other one. Uh, they kind of come in universal lengths. The idea is that you cut it down to the size that you need. So using the old one as kind of your guide and your template, you're gonna cut the new one to length. Um, obviously make sure you cut off the right end. Uh, if you make that mistake, obviously there's not any holes anymore. You don't have to drill your own new holes. And I'll show you the wear on this one. They have wear guides on them. Uh, depending on who uh, makes the slide, some of them do it in a different way and they're more pronounced than others, but you can see at the very beginning, this one's the new one, uh, the one closest to my body and the one away from me is the used one. And as we get kind of toward the middle where that first uh, idler wheel is, you can see that the wear line has all but disappeared. Yeah, it's been completely worn off. And again, kind of near the middle, it's gone again. You can see that it's it's kind of scalloped too. So it's, it's got some pretty strange wear. Uh, something could have got caught in there and dragged around by the wheels, but if we flip it on the other side, you can see that wear bar's there. It's completely worn off through the middle. And then it comes back again. So the idea of this wear bar is that as you get close to that, this is uh, your slide's way of telling you, hey, hey guy, you gotta pay some attention here before you get through. And uh, these are pretty close. If he would have tried to ride this uh, new season on these, he'd be replacing uh, $210 rails. So definitely replace these before that happens. Like I said, they're not very expensive and we're showing you a simple way to do it yourself. Different ways you can cut the slide rails down. You can use a hacksaw, uh, you can use a, a wood saw, use a miter saw if you have one, or you can do like I'm gonna do and use an angle grinder. <laughs> but safety first. I already can't hear for garbage, so I'm gonna wear earmuffs too. And this is what we're gonna cut it with, angle grinder. It's super scientific, you don't have to have it to the millimeter. You just want it uh, not hor horribly short and uh, not horrifically long. So, just close enough. After you've cut it off, it's not a bad idea to chamfer this uh, on an angle. That way when you put it in reverse, this isn't gonna hang up and it'll allow you to reverse still. Now that you've got it cut down to size, you're just ready to put it back in there. Obviously making sure that you put the holes to the front. You're gonna fit it through the window and start it on that section of I-beam on the bottom of the, the, uh, the slide rail. And then you're just gonna he-man it on there to start. Um, I put a little bit of uh, WD-40 on there. 
Um, you can use another light oil or whatever you got laying around. I just used WD-40. Um, and I just sprayed it inside the channel before I started it on there. Just helps kind of get things going. Eventually, your Wheaties will wear out and you'll kind of get to a point where she won't want to go no more. And that's what your big hammer's for. I'm using a rubber mallet. This is like a 32 ounce or there. Okay, eventually you're gonna get to the track and then uh, you're gonna get creative again. You're gonna find something that kind of fits in the window that isn't going to split the slide rail and you'll keep tapping it till you can finish it home. So if you're a genius in your garage, which you probably are because you're watching our videos, the piece you cut off, you're like, ah, well, what am I gonna use that for? Well, you're gonna use that to drive this the rest of the way home. So just line it up with the old piece and Finish your home. Okay, we're probably close. We're gonna come to the front, have a look. That hole's not lined up yet, so we gotta keep going. It looks like we might be there. Once the slide rail's all the way to the front, you can check your fit with the screw, make sure everything lines up. Um, this is a lock nut. Uh, there's supposed to be a one and done thing, which I'm sure you know that, uh, but it's uh, 10 o'clock at night. Articat is closed, hardware store is closed. I'm going riding tomorrow. So instead, blue Loctite. Blue Loctite is like Frank's Red Hot. You put that on everything. So here we go, we're gonna put it on everything. There we go. Don't be shy with this stuff, boys and girls. Well, that will do ya. Here we go. Now, I know you're gonna be shocked by this new information. The other side is exactly the same. So, do as you just did on the other side. Just flip the slide to the other side, the handlebar thing, and do it again. And there you have it. Uh, we've uh, successfully replaced the slides on the skid. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like the content we're putting out, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our future content. You can check us out on social media, on Facebook, and on Instagram. If you want to get your own 360 North gear, a portion of the proceeds always go to charity. You check out our website at 360north.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.